Hello, nice to meet you again, and welcome to continuous of Game Talk Radio and Television Station. Hi, slide today. Hà Nội, Quảng Ninh, Lạng Sơn, Quảng Bình, Đà Nẵng, Cần Thơ and Khánh Hòa propose to reduce protest on laws from frozen loan shocks in 2022, nearly 1,000 million dong. According to military service council of Kansas City in 2023, the city was the site the target of recruiting and calling up 1,858 citizens. During the Lunar New Year holiday, Karang Float Market welcomed over 30,720 visitors. Top news, Hà Nội, Quảng Ninh, Lạng Sơn, Quảng Bình, Đà Nẵng, Cần Thơ and Khánh Hòa propose to reduce projects on loans from foreign loan shocks in 22, nearly 1,548 billion dong. Specifically, seven localities including Hải Dương, Hải Phòng, Yên Bái, Bắc Giang, Bắc Cạn, Phú Thọ and Nam Định propose to increase the loan estimate by 226 billion dong. Seven provinces and cities, namely Hanoi, Quảng Ninh, Lạng Sơn, Quảng Bình, Đà Nẵng, Cần Thơ, and Khánh Hòa, propose reducing the loan estimate amounting to nearly 1,548 billion dong. The government also asked the National Assembly to approve the seven localities to reduce their estimate of on lending capital in 2022, an amount of nearly 1,548 billion dong, to ensure that the plan to borrow foreign loans and overspend in 2022 does not exceed the level approved by the National Assembly. Kentucky City is implementing a series of key traffic construction projects invested by the City Construction Investment Project Management Board and Department of Transport in the year 2023. Those are eight projects to build bridges and roads to a provincial roads 917, 918, 921, 923, Kinh Ngang Bridge, Kadao Bridge, West Belt Road Project, and Chodok Kentucky Shuttang Expressway Project, in which bridges such as Tây Đô, Kadao, and Kinh Ngang Bridges have been carried on in order to improve the efficiency of traffic infrastructure exploitation in the area, city leaders focus on directing investors to key projects and works such as Trung Hoàng Na Bridge, Tado Bridge, Cadao Bridge, and etc. Western Belt Road continues to accelerate progress and ensure quality to soon put into operation. In addition, the city's leaders said they would propose to the Ministry of Transport to invest in upgrading asphalt payments on National Highway 80, National Highway 91B, Lotera Soy Expressway. According to Military Service Council of Kentucky City, in 2023, the city was the site, the target of recruiting and calling up 1,858 citizens. Of these, 1,353 citizens were assigned to the National Defense, and 505 citizens were assigned to the Ministry of Public Security. Up to now, the Military Service Council of the city's districts has issued a call to enlist 1,959 citizens, in which citizens with technical degree reach 29.50%, an increase of 1.43% compared to 2022. The City Military Service Council is focusing on directing the Military Service Council at all levels to well implement the following contents, such as propaganda activities of the Military Service Law and circulars and garage of the Ministry of National Defense, Military Zone I on recruitment in 2023, at the same time closely coordinating which departments, branches, and march organizations to focus on doing well in the preparation for the ceremony of handing over and receiving troops in 2023 on February 9. The Touch Department of Kentucky City has set out a selection of winning invoice for the program Lucky Invoices for the Fourth Quarter of 2022. Based on the database of electronic invoices with the tax authority scored made in the fourth quarter of 2022, from October 1st to December 31st, 2022, there are 59,531 
eligible invoices to participate in the program Lucky Invoices. The choice of Lucky Invoices is drawn entirely on the program and inserts random and objective selection when driving prices. As a result, there were 17 invoices of lucky individuals and business households, including one first prize worth $50 million, three second prizes each prize worth $8 million, five top prizes each worth $5 million, and eight consolation prizes each worth $2 million. Time to receive rewards within 30 days from the date of announcing the results of the program Lucky Invoices. January 17, 2023, past the above time limit, the Lucky Invoice selection results are no longer valid for rewards. In the year 2023, the Tax Department of Kansas City is determined to try to collect the state budget over 3 to 5 percent of the estimate in which all revenue sources and taxes meet the estimate. The target of state budget revenue to meet and exceed the estimate assigned by the Ministry of Finance and People's Culture of the city is $10,762 billion. For license fees, the tax department learned an emulation to collect on license fees in January in order to create momentum for the completion of the tax in 2023 with the goal set out above from the last days of 2022. The city tax department has assigned the state budget revenue estimate in 2023 to the collection management unit and issued the 2023 state budget collection plan for the unit. During the Lunar New Year holiday, Garang Float Market welcomed over 30,720 visitors. According to statistics, in 2022, Kansas City welcomed more than 5 million visitors, with more than 70% coming to visit the Float Market multiple. According to the Karang District Authority, this is a good sign of the recovery of the tourism economy after two years of license due to the negative impact of COVID-19 epidemic. After the big of Lunar New Year celebration, the number of tourists visiting the float market is still bustling. Tourism businesses, tourist peers, prefer facilities, arrange staff on duty, ensure tourism business conditions, business households list prices publicly, and sell on listed prices in order to better serve tourists, environmental hygiene, food safety and security, and order are also insured. After the Lunar New Year from the district and the magic of land to speed up the progress of the works and ensure the quality. From the district's project management and land fund development board cooperates with contractors to as elaborate the implementation of five transitional projects from 2022, including construction and upgrading of rural roads in Tentekumu, Ningye, Nyang Ai, and Biu, a school and headquarters in Trung Long Kumun. These works have been implemented since 2022 and have completed nearly 70% of the progress. The construction unit also currently focuses on manpower and equipment to complete the works to celebrate the anniversary of April 30th and May Day this year. In 2023, from the district proposed 15 basic construction projects with a capital of nearly $150 billion from the state project. Coming up next, the weather forecast. That's all for continuous of Kentel Radio and Television Station. Thanks so much for your attention. Please visit us on website, kentertv.vn. Bye for now.